everyone, welcome to my brand new video. In this video, I am going to show and explain to you about brand new Jiyun Crane M23 Axis Gimbal Stabilizer. This gimbal is best for light mirrorless camera, action camera, smartphone, or GoPro action camera. In this video, we are going to test it with smartphones and GoPro Hero 8. Before get started, if you are new here and have not subscribed to our channel, please help us by subscribing. We will post product related videos every week. At the very beginning, let's unbox this new Jiyun Crane M23 Axis Gimbal Stabilizer. We have ordered this last week and we got today from Amazon. The market price for this gimbal is about $250 without any discount. For a discount, I have posted a link in the description, please check the link for any available discount in Amazon. Let's see what they have sent us in the box. Here is. the Jiyun Crane M2 gimbal. It has gimbal tripod legs, shoe for the mount, phone holder, charger cable, and base plate. They added upgraded a new quick release system, that allows us quickly to mount or dismount the camera with a single press of the lock button. And with a unique scale mark and memory lock, balancing can be easily finished and preserved. In this video, I will show you how easily can balance the phone on this gimbal. Let's get started with placing phone and balancing process, I have seen many comments about hard to balance the phone on this gimbal, but in my case, I don't feel any hard to place and balance. According to my setup, after properly mount the phone or camera on this gimbal, you have to turn on the gimbal to see perform balance otherwise it will keep unbalancing. That is my recommendation, if you have any other easy way to balance this gimbal please let me know in the comment. First please unlock all possible locking systems. For secure packaging and shipping, the company has sent with lock. After unlocking every key then follow me to place the phone on it. To hold your phone or camera, place this quick release plate here. And use a small hole to screw the phone and big for the camera. But it will not matter using any of them, if your equipment fits well on this gimbal. After fitting the phone, you will see this kind of unbalance. But be cool, it will come back fine. After making sure everything fits well and hold tight, turn on the gimbal using the side power switch. It will come back balancing your phone. It is the only way to bring back the balance easily. Then if you need you can adjust the direction. Look at this, I am done for placing the phone on this gimbal. Now time for some test shoot. At this time. I will see the outer look and smooth without entering any technical control or tracking. A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. I don't really care about love. At this time, what you think about this gimbal? Do you know in pros or cons side in this bad boy? Please let me know in the comment below.
My personal view is, if you are looking a gimbal for phone or action camera specific, and don't care too much about mirrorless or DSLR cameras, then this gimbal will be your right choice. But I will definitely say, the price is little more than actual it works. Next minute we will try this on GoPro Hero 8 and see how it work. Got amazing cinematic video quality after turning on the GoPro Hero 8 video stabilizer, and this gimbal combo. Even eventually I moved too much camera but I got a fantastic result. As you can see, how smooth video quality is. Again, this Gion Crane Am2 can handle maximum payload only 0.72 kg or 1.58 pounds, or 720 grams. In order to work your devices in this gimbal, your devices must have this weight frame. There is an app to connect gimbal called Zyplay. It is very easy to connect and control. Also if your camera is Wi-Fi controllable, you can control from the gimbal there is record and zoom and zoom out bottom built-in gimbal. While I'm mostly sticking to basic pan follow modes in all my shooting, I like the fact it provides other options. There is some shooting modes such as pan follow PF, follow F, lock L, point of view POV, vortex V, GoGo. -go. If POV mode is on make sure that all axes are unlocked so we can use the full 360 movements. Vortex and selfie mode makes this camera gimbal super functional. You can simply change the mode from the trigger button that is well placed in the back side of the gimbal. I think this is the perfect gimbal for vlogging, due to its size and weight, and the selfie mode is just awesome for silky smooth angle transitions from face to the scenery. The Vortex model is super fun to play with too, to get those cool shots. I think the material is a solid aluminum for most of the parts, there are many different adjustable balance points which allows for the perfect placement of any camera. The smoothness of the controls is amazing, the video quality I get with just a cell phone is amazing. About battery life, I charged it the first day I got it, and have been using it for a long time but couple minutes shoot, so be honest, I don't have much more experience with the battery. I will update in the description if anything I got about the battery uses in the future. Overall, I liked this gimbal, everything working well. I only think about the price point, there are other products such as a low price for only phone and GoPro. My expectation is at least it has to capable to load DSLR, otherwise, it is great for the traveler and smooth videographer. In the end, what you think about this gimbal? Please comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching it. Please help us by subscribing to our channel. I will see you in next video. Bye for now.